guys, this is Dabsin HPL. Let's take a look at how to use jQuery Masonry in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So what is jQuery Masonry? Now let's take a look at the definition. So jQuery Masonry is a JavaScript grid layout library. It works by placing elements in optimal position based on available vertical space. Sort of like a mason fitting stones in a wall. So you've probably seen it used all over the internet. Yes, that's very true. Now let's come to our project what we'll be working on today and as you can see i have this here and this is being achieved by the help of jquery now let me go ahead and come to my responsive booth and you take a look at what happens so as you can see there is rearrangement of the element in here when i go ahead and shrink this a bit it changes and it tries to adapt the size or the weight of the browser let me go ahead and shrink anymore now you can use jQuery Messenger to save you a lot of time when you are building responsive websites. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to go about this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. I have opened here WYSIWYG Web Builder and this is version 12. Now to get started with jQuery Messenger, you first of all have to store the jQuery Messenger extension. So to install extension, you simply come to your tools, go to extension manager, click on OK and go to the miscellaneous section of that is extensions. Go ahead and hit on yes and then this is going to browse the miscellaneous extensions which are available here so scroll to the jquery masonry section so i'm going to scroll to jquery masonry section let me just go down a little bit let me keep going let me go up once more i have already installed it so at the end of the day it's not going to show here but if you don't have it installed it's going to be showing here now let me go to available updates i don't have anything here now when i hit on all these are the extensions I already have installed. So as you can see, I already have jQuery Masonry that is 1.0.1 .1 installed. Now to get started and to use jQuery Masonry, let me just come to toolbox and then I'm going to look for layer. I'll click on layer. And let me just create some sort of section here. So let me just expand this here. I'm going to reduce the height of it. So this is going to be about 100 pixels. Now let me come back here. Come to my toolbox let me clear this and then i'm going to look for the shape too so let me click on shape i'm going to create some form of navigation here so let me just reduce the height of this a bit and come to my property inspector this is going to be 35 35 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on enter and this is going to be about 100 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on enter now let me just double click on this set the edge to rounded edge and this is going to be about four pixels let me change this to solid and this is going to be the color the border color is also going to be the same let me enable hover on hover let me just make the color this black i have here the border is going to be the same color and the test is going to be white now let me come to test and just type in something here so this is going to be it i'm going to highlight over this and change the size of this to about 12 pixels and then i'm going to change the color to white i'm going to enable this and change the editor background from white to black so that i can see what is actually here i'll go ahead and hit on ok so i have it here let me just reduce the width of this a little bit i'll move it into my layer here now let me just go ahead and create another layer so i'm going to copy this using ctrl c paste it let me get rid of this and then i'm going to reduce the width and the height of this particular layer so let me just go ahead and make this about 450 by 50 pixels go ahead and hit on enter and then i'm going to move that into this layer let me go ahead and put this in this layer and let me make sure this layer is in the center of this layer so i'll do that here now I'll click on this button i'm going to make a copy of it using ctrl c to copy it, then using ctrl v to paste it let me go ahead and expand the width of it a little bit and i'm going to go ahead to change this to finance let me just come to test this is going to be finance I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let me go ahead and expand it a little bit more. And then make a copy of it. Paste it here. This is going to be market. So let me expand this a little bit. I will click. Come to my test. And then I'm going to make this market. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll go ahead and create one more. Let me just make one more here. Expand this a little bit. And this is going to be management. just get it right i'll go ahead and hit on okay now let me reduce the width of this layer a little bit i'm going to select these buttons i have here 
come to arrange and make sure they are evenly distributed that's horizontally and then i'm going to position them in the middle of this layer i'm going to go ahead to position this layer also in the middle of this layer so i have that done here what i'm going to do next is to bring in another layer here which is actually going to hold my jquery item so i'll come back to my toolbox let me just locate the layer 2 i'll click on it and then i'm going to draw here so i'm going to make the width of this particular shape or um, this particular layer is going to be 225 pixels let me just do that and then i'm going to increase the height of it a little bit so let me change this to this is also going to be 225 i think that's okay let me just make this 220 instead of 225 let me add zero hit on enter and then i'm going to double click on this come to style let me set the radius to about six pixels the border is going to be one pixel let me just change it to this gray here that's the color i'll go ahead and hit on okay let me just come back here and change the size of it so this is 220 by 250 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on enter now i'm going to come to my toolbox i'm going to bring in a text here so i'll come here click on test and then i'm just going to populate this with about 10 words that's okay let me highlight over this and change the height the size of it that's the font size this is 12 pixels let me just make it 13 pixels that's fine let me highlight over this and change the color of it to about this gray here and then i'm going to expand this a little bit i'm going to move it into this layer i have here let me shrink it a little bit and set the alignment to center now i'm going to come back to my toolbox and then i'm going to bring in an image so i'll click on image and then i'm going to draw here and then i'm going to select the image i'll be using so i have my set of image i'll be using here so i'll just go ahead and select one image from these images so let me just select this one hit on open and then i'm going to go ahead to reduce the size of this image let me just reduce the size of this image let me move it into this layer so let me reduce it a little bit more and expand the width of it so here you go and then i'm going to make a copy of this layer so i'm going to make a copy of this layer i'm going to paste that here what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand the height of this layer a bit and then i'm going to move this a little bit to the bottom i'm going to go ahead to expand this image i have here and let me copy the size so i can change the image i have there let me pin this here i'll double click on this let me just double click on it come to my images i'm going to select this one it's an open okay and then i'm going to change the size of it to this size here i'm going to make another copy so let me just copy this i'm going to paste that here i'm going to make sure it has a different height so let me just either reduce the height of this so i'm going to change the size of the image i'm going to move this a little bit to the top and then i'm going to change the size of this layer i'm going to go ahead to change the image i have here so i'll double click on this browse for the image let me just go down let me select this image i'll go ahead and hit an open okay and then i'm going to change the size for it i'm going to make another copy so let me copy this and then i'm going to paste that here now the height of this is going to be about this i think 310 is okay let me move this a little bit to the bottom and then i'm going to expand this image let me expand this to about this then i'm going to go ahead to change the image i'm using here so i double click on this just double click on this browse and then i'm going to select this image i'll go ahead and hit an open hit an okay let me just change the size for it i'm going to make a copy of this layer so i'll copy it and then i'm going to paste that here i'm going to copy this also and then i'm going to paste that here and then i'm going to copy this so let me copy this and then i'm going to paste that here i'm going to make a copy of let me just make a copy of this again paste that here now let me go ahead and change the images i have here so i'm going to copy the size i will click on this change the image let me just scroll down and i'm going to select this image i'll go ahead and hit an open hit an ok and change the size for it i'm going to change this also so i'll come here i'm going to select this hit an open hit an ok and then i'm going to change the size for it now let me make one more line here that is one more row here i'm going to copy this uh, let me just copy this instead i copy this i'm going to paste that here and then i'm going to copy this let me just copy this one i'm going to paste that here 
Let me come and copy this. I copy this, paste that here. And then I'm going to copy this. Let me just copy this instead. I copy this and then I'm going to paste that here. Okay, so I have that here. Now I want to have all these layers and uh, single layers. Let me just highlight over everything I have here. So I'm going to use Ctrl A to select everything. Then I'm going to hold on the shift key. I'm going to click on this right on select it. And then I'm going to move this. Let me just move it a little bit here bottom. Let me come back to my toolbox so I can bring in some layer here. So let me just type layer, click on the layer. I'm going to draw here. Let me expand the size of this layer. So I'm going to expand the width of the height of it also. I'm going to use Ctrl A to select everything. Holding on the shift key, I'm going to select this. I'm going to select this also. Let me make sure the height of my layer here is a bit enough so it can take care of the layers I have at the bottom here. So I'm going to use Ctrl A to select everything. And then I'm going to select this. I'm going to select this also by the help of the shift key. Then I'm going to move this into this layer. So making sure it's in the middle of the layer. Then I scroll to the bottom and then I'm going to decrease the height a bit of this layer. Now let me just right click on an empty space and go to page properties and set the alignment of the page to center horizontally. Now I'm going to right click on this layer, make sure I bring it to front. So I'll select move to front. Now let me just go ahead and hit on F5 and see how everything looks like. So as you can see, this is how our page looks like now let's come back and change some of the images we have here so i'm going to copy the size of this image and go ahead and change this image let me come here let me browse let me select this image for this one i'll go ahead and hit on ok change the size for it let me change let me copy the size of this first and change the size for this one so let me scroll i'm going to select this one hit on open ok and then i'm going to change the size for it let me do that for this also. So let me copy the size. I will click on it, come here, and then I'm going to select this image. I'll go ahead and hit on OK, change the size for it. Let me go ahead and change the size for this one also. So I'll copy the size first, and then I'm going to change the image for it. So let me just select this one, hit on open, hit on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead to change the size for it. So as you can see, we have everything rightly done here. There's now time for us to bring our jQuery machinery extension so i'll come to my toolbox and since it's the newly installed extension i'm going to scroll to the very bottom and as you can see it's over here so let me just draw here let me move it a little bit to the bottom and then i'm going to draw here now let me move it about this position and then i'm going to double click on this so if you double click on it there are a set of options that you are supposed to configure over here so as you can see the first one is the selector so the selector is some form of um, class that you are supposed to add to your object so we take a look at how to do that and then we have the container as well as we have the column width so i'm going to change my column width to zero pixels the gutter width is going to be zero pixels i'm going to make the margin right going to be four pixels and then the bottom is going to be about six pixels so this is just the spacing around the element we have here i'm going to enable that is animation which is let me just um, stick to the linear i have here now, I'm supposed to add some kind of class to this object. Let me just go ahead and hit an OK. So, when I come, let me just go to the very top. I'll right click on this particular layer. Let me just go to Object HTML. And then I'm going to include some class here. So, I'm going to type class. And then this is going to be code to this. And then I'm going to type item here. I'll end with this. And then I'm going to, let me just end with two quotes, uh, semicolons here. I'll go ahead and copy this. I'm going to apply this to all the layers I have here. So I'm going to right click on this. I'll come to object HTML inside the tag. Then I'll paste that. I'll do that for this. So let me come to object HTML. And then I'm going to do that for this as well as do that for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and do it for the others. So I'm done adding the codes to all my layers I have here. So let me just go ahead and hit on F5 and preview this in the browser. So as you can see, we have our jQuery machinery being taken effect here. When I come to my browser and come to the responsive mode, you realize it's moving properly. But as you can see, there's a problem with our navigation. As well as when we go to the mobile view, 
there is some kind of horizontal line here now let's take a look at how to fix that so i'll come back to my project and then to continue first of all i'm going to set the this particular layer to relative horizontal sizing i'll go ahead and set the alignment to center and i'll go ahead and hit on ok i'm going to change this um, layer here to relative vertical sizing so i'll go ahead and hit on um, let me just check that and change this to center i'll go ahead and hit on ok i'll go ahead and double click on this layer also first of all i'm going to check relative horizontal position as well as change the alignment to center i'll go ahead and hit on ok now let's go ahead and preview it in our browser again so as you can see we have that in the center and everything is rightly done here now we will still have issues when we come to the mobile aspect so let me just go to the mobile aspect and as you can see we still have our line here as well as um that's our scroll bar here and our navigation is not showing so let's see how best we can go about that so to go about the navigation i'm first of all going to go to the breakpoint manager i'm going to create some breakpoints here i'll create for 320 pixels i'm going to create for 480 and then i'm going to create for 768 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok so when i come to 768 pixels all i have to do is to change the size for this particular layer that's containing the navigation right click on this layer and make sure it is in the center or in the middle of this layer i'll do same for this particular section let me just move this here and then i'm going to change the size for this so this is going to be 480 let me move this in the middle right click on it and make sure it is in the middle as well i'll now come to 320 pixels and then let me just move this here i'm going to go ahead to expand the height of it since this is not going to fit in here i'm going to expand the height of this and then i'm going to move this to the bottom a bit and just expand this a little bit more so this is okay and then i'm going to move this also yes let me just move this here move this here and move it some few pixels away from it and then i'm going to change the width of this particular layer let me go ahead and close up this one also and then i'm going to move this and this into the middle of this layer but it looks like it's not in this layer because of the the edge if you took a very good look you realize it's rather a big layer which is having the ticket uh, there's a thick edge here so now let's just move this layer out so we can do that properly so i'll select this and then i'm going to move that into the middle of this layer so let me just move it a little bit to the top okay that's okay i'm going to move this also into this layer so let me just uh, expand the height a little bit and then let me just do that here making sure it is in the middle of the layer so this is okay let me just select this and make sure it's in the middle also i'll go ahead and increase the height a little bit for this particular layer so let me just expand it and then i'm going to move this to the bottom i'll go ahead and move this here making sure it fits in let me just go ahead and change the width for this particular layer so i'll change this to 320 pixels right click on this and make sure it is in the center that is horizontally now if i want to change the sizes of this particular layers and objects i have in here i can go ahead and do that so let me just change this a little bit uh, let me expand this a little bit more and i'm going to go ahead and change the size of this i think this is okay because i'm on a mobile page i probably might want to change the sizes of this element i'm just going to do for this particular layer or this object i have in here so let me just go ahead and change this so what i'm going to do next is to preview this in my browser so let me just switch back here as you can see this one has its original size when i come here you realize this one has a very smaller size let me just come here and then i'm going to preview this in my browser so i'll hit on f5 and as you can see everything is rightly in place except for this so let's just go ahead and correct that because it's in the bigger layer let me just move this out go ahead and move this let me undo this let me come here and undo this and then i'm going to select them so let me hold on a shift to select this one also and position it in this layer let me just do that rightly and then i'm going to bring it back here so i'll go ahead and hit on f5 and let's take a look at it in the browser so as you can see everything is rightly here now let's come to our break point that's a responsive mode and as you can see our navigation is perfectly here and then when i expand this a little bit you realize everything is rightly here let me go ahead and expand this a little bit more and as you can see everything is 
rightly arranged here. You can see there's still some kind of scroll bar that is a horizontal scroll bar. Now let's see how best we can get rid of that. So what we have to do is when we come to the breakpoint, you realize we brought in jQuery masonry, which is actually outside the viewport. So I'm just going to move this to this section. I'm going to go ahead and move this also here. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this here also. So let me just go ahead and hit on F5 and everything should be fine. So I'll come here, I'll come to my responsive mode. And when you look at, let me just reduce the size of this. As you can see, everything seems to be okay. It looks like we still have our scroll bar here. Let's see how best we can get rid of that. So what actually seems to be causing the horizontal scroll bar has got to do with the element we have outside our viewport. So if you are going to go ahead to that is reduce the sizes of this so that you'll be able to keep everything within this particular viewport, probably everything is going to be fine. But in our case, that's not going to be our worry. We are not going to bother about that. Now, one last important thing you might want to take a look at. Let me just go ahead and preview this in our browser. You realize what we see as the first image here is actually not what is in our project. That is a easy we could build. Let's see how best we can do that. So to do that, all we have to do is to right click on the layer. Make sure I remove it to the back, following with this one. Move it to back. We are going to repeat the process for this. Right click on this also, move it to the back. Now let's right click on this also, move it to the back. We right click on this, move it to the back, move this also to the back. Let me go ahead and move this to the back. Then I'm going to, let me just be sure I've done for these ones. Let me right click on this, move it to the back. I'm going to go ahead and move this also to the back. And then I'm going to move this to the back. And finally, I'm going to move this to the back. Now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser again. So as you can see, we have everything rightly arranged. Now there's one last thing. I probably want to change some small configuration of my jQuery machinery. So let me just scroll to the bottom. I'm going to double click on my jQuery machinery. And then I'm going to change the zero, that is the zero pixel I have for my cutter width here to six pixels. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit on OK. And let's come back. Let me just move this outside this layer. Make sure it is here. Let me just make sure this is also here. That's okay. Now let me go ahead and preview this in my browser. So I'll go ahead and hit on F5 again. And as you can see, the six pixels we introduced, that is for our gutter, has actually given us some kind of nice spaces around our elements here. Now let me just go ahead and preview this in the responsive mode. And as you can see, everything is rightly arranged and done here. So that is how to use jQuery Masonry in WYSIWYG Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.